Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my July favorites. I had to think about that for a second because I can't believe it is going into August. And I only say that because August 10th is my daughter's first birthday and I do not know where the year went. I can't believe she's gonna be one and Alex is going to be three in December, so. Time is just flying by for me. This month I found some really great products. One of them that I'm gonna mention first, I have mentioned before on my channel, which I'm just going to dive right in, but I do have some fantastic products. One product specifically in here, which I'm gonna wait for the end. I'm going to start off with my first product. It is from Scentbird, and it is a perfume service that ships monthly to your house, and they give a really generous size. I've mentioned them before on my channel. I absolutely love the service. There is eight milliliters of fragrance that come in here, and this summer they have a different carrying case, which is white. It's a pearlescent white, which is really pretty. I love white stuff. It's an excellent service if you want to try out different scents. I don't do too many monthly services, but this one I absolutely love. And I'm a perfume nut, as you guys know. And Scentbird gave me a coupon code for you guys for your first month off in case you wanted to try them. I absolutely love them. I think you guys will too. I know a lot of you have heard about them before, but they're an excellent service if you want to try out fragrances. And I picked out the Gucci Flora by Gucci, and it's the EDP. I've been using this most days, and you can see I've used up a consistent considerable amount but I haven't run out so they do give you a generous size I could never use up one of these in a month personally so it's definitely more than a month supply for me but I just wanted to mention Scentbird if you guys haven't checked them out already and this is one of my favorites as well this fragrance as soon as I'm done this I'm going to buy the full size I think I'm gonna wait for the Sephora VIB sale though to pick up the full size version of this because I like it that much I really want to buy it and I'm afraid of running out of it so I'm trying to use this sparingly until the VIB sale sale in November I think it is because I do want to get the full size of this fragrance. Next I'm going to mention a hair product that I have been loving and I heard about this forever ago on YouTube but I was never able to find it in Canada. It's the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle, the moist deep conditioning treatment and I love this stuff. I'm so glad I was able to find it. I picked it up at Dollarama and then I was seeing that it was in Canada and searching of other places that you guys could be able to pick it up and I found it on Walmart's website and it was $2.77. So if you wanna save some money, pick it up at Walmart. But I've really been loving this as my deep conditioner. You guys know I always use my macadamia oil one, but this has been doing wonders for my hair. I really like it. Super inexpensive. If I want to make the most out of my other hair treatment because it is more pricey, I'll throw this in the mix. And I love how my hair looks after I use this. So definitely love the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. Super inexpensive if you guys want to check out a really good deep conditioner. And if you follow me on Snap, you guys know I've been trying to replace my natural hair brushes with synthetic lately. I just love how synthetic brushes have been working with my skin and I found a brush to replace my MAC 137 which I love you guys know I use this all the time but I have the Luxie 640 it's the pro precision tapered brush and this one is well loved this one I just recently got so it's not as fluffed out but it's so soft. It's even softer than the MAC one, which surprises me because this one is really, really soft. And it's synthetic. And what I like to do with a brush like this, you can do so many different things, but I just sweep any powder away underneath my eyes, but you can use it for blush, highlight, powder. Such a versatile brush and it's really gentle on the skin. So definitely recommend this one from Luxie. It's, it's the 640 Pro Precision Tapered. Another drugstore product I have been absolutely loving. I'm gonna put it out there. This is my favorite foundation of all time. And I'm going to tell you a few reasons. I did a first impression on this. If you guys saw recently, it's my most recent one. It's the L'Oreal Pro Glow. And I didn't talk it up so much in that video just because it, it was a first impression and I don't like going super ham, being like, oh my gosh, you need to buy this because it was the first time I obviously used it. And as much as I really did like it in that video, I've just grown to love it even more after using it. I've been using it almost every single day since filming that video. When I have a tan, I use shade 205. And when I'm my natural skin tone, I wear 202 in case you're curious but it feels almost like skincare it's very moisturizing on the skin but also is buildable to a full coverage I'm wearing it today and I just think it has the best finish and it says it's air light it really does it feels like skincare as I said it just doesn't feel like there's anything on my skin it provides amazing coverage it's easy to blend out it just seeps into my skin but also stays there really long wearing with radiance it's really weird because I've never found a coverage like this that feels this light on the skin but also gives radiance and lasts a long time because usually ones that are luminous don't tend to last and ones that feel lightweight 
uh, don't have that much coverage. So this has the best of every single world. It's literally my perfect foundation. So I'm stamping it right now as my favorite foundation of all time because it's really just been working out well for my skin and I have dry skin if you guys know. I've been loving this Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit. I mentioned this in, I believe, a tutorial that I was going to mention it in my favorites video. But I haven't been using uh, these two shades, just the contour shades in this. And I actually really like the brush it comes with too, which is something to note because I typically don't like brushes that come with palettes, but I love this one. These colors blend out really easily and they don't look muddy, so I think it's perfect for contour. So I do use these to contour my nose and then I usually contour the back portions of my cheekbones, which I didn't today. But those are the places I typically contour and then I just bronze up the rest of my skin. But I've been really loving this, just the formulation of the powders for contouring. So this is a favorite of mine for sure. Then in one of my tutorials as well, I use the MAC Copper Sparkle Pigment. And this is just a little sample size. I keep this in my freelance kit. This is such a beautiful pigment. If you've never heard of Copper Sparkle from MAC, I'm going to show you right now. And if you haven't seen that video, you definitely should. I show you how I use it, but it's so pretty. It's just a beautiful copper, and I paired it with Dila's Magnificent Metal and Kitten, and I put this over top, and it made the most beautiful combination. It has to be one of my favorite looks I've ever filmed, just how it turned out. I just love the combination of the colors. It was super warm, super glittery, super glam, so super everything. <laughs> but I do uh, really love this pigment. I encourage you to check it out if you want something copper. This is just stunning and the light just captures it beautifully and highly, highly recommend it. A favorite lip product of mine has been the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar Lip Gloss. When I wore this, people recognize, they're like, you're wearing Sugar Sugar, I know you are. It's pretty popular. I think it says an Allure winner, one of those award-winning products is this formulation of lip gloss and this color specifically is always sold out at my Sephora and always sold out online on the Canadian Sephora. I'm hoping it's in stock now that I'm mentioning it so you guys can check it out if you want to. It is such a beautiful lip gloss and I wore this in that video I was talking about that tutorial with the copper pigment. I've just been loving this color. It's a beautiful pinky nude gloss. It has the perfect amount of pink. It's really opaque. It just makes your lips look super juicy and full, and I just love the formulation of it. It's not sticky. It's kind of on the thick side. There is some shimmers in it, but you do not feel that on your lips. It's very, very fine shimmers in it. I don't find you can even see it too much in this swatch. It just looks like a cream to me. It's definitely a favorite of mine. So happy that they restocked it, and then it sold out right after. So I'm hoping they have it in stock, and I'll link it down below for you guys. Then I also recently hauled the Tarte Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. The colors are really nice. The only problem is some of the ones with sparkle in it, I do find it has a lot of fallout. And they do kick up quite a bit of powder, like my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette if you use that. But if you have used that, you know that it doesn't affect the quality or blendability, even though it kicks up a lot of powder. I know the rock shadows kick up a lot of powder. These Tarte ones do and the Anastasia, but they are really good quality. The only problem is a little bit of fallout, but I just do my eyes prior to doing my face when I use this palette. And specifically, I wanted to mention this highlight, which is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. It just looks wet on the skin. But as I said, there's big glitter par particles in this and it can fall off on other areas of your face. I just use a really small brush and really gently apply it and I don't have an issue. But I know if you just went ham with that highlighter on your face, it would get glitter everywhere. So just be forewarned. But this is definitely a favorite of mine and I'm so glad I picked it up. This is probably the best $100 I have ever spent in my life. It says $78 on here with $105 value. That's US. I did pay, I think it was $98 Canadian. I think it was $137 value or something like that. You can get this at Sephora. It's the Power Couple Kit. It has the Sunday Riley Good Jeans and the Luna Sleeping Oil. And I kept hearing so many good things about these two products. So as soon as I saw it in a kit, I quickly picked it up. You get a good value for your money and I've always wanted to try these products. So I've integrated these into my skincare routine, which I'm currently using Polish Choice, but this has really kicked it up a notch, my anti-aging. I've only had amazing results from using this. I noticed results the next day after using this. That's how good it is. And it's funny because my friend Steph from Babs Beauty also picked up the good jeans and she was raving about it. And I told her that I had recently picked it up too. So it was just funny that we both had picked it up. But this is definitely a favorite of mine. Uh, check out the kit if you're interested in both. 
I've heard good things about both. That's why I picked up the kit myself. But I will link it down below for you guys in case you're curious. It is quite pricey. But I noticed a difference the next day. It was that good for me. And I just have really noticed a difference. And yeah, this is the best money I've spent in a very, very long time. And I encourage you to check it out. So that is everything. I didn't feel like there was too many products. I hope you, I was going to call this a haul. It wasn't a haul. <laughs> I'm ready to film my Sephora haul, I guess. But I hope you guys enjoyed my July favorites. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please do so. Just hit that red subscribe button down below. I'll leave it here for you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. smells <laughs> like it's in infecting my lungs <laughs> another affordable pro is this thing on yes haven't dyed my hair in probably six months i'd say i know i need to do that